welcome to What the Kids Be Saying. I am your host, Esther Brew. Now I'm the type of person that records a whole episode with her head cut off and has to re-record it minutes before she has to leave for her Saturday night adventure. You are in the right place if you out here trying to be hip, because this is your source of behind the curve, because we're late, pop culture knowledge straight from a high school teacher's classroom, where I define things that my kids say in the classroom and we try to keep up with the trends because it's hilarious. On this week's episode of What the Kids Be Saying, we are gonna define the word drip, we're gonna talk about crop culture, and the new Fortnite release. First up is the word drip. So drip is a new word for swag, so if you look good, you say, oh, you came through dripping. Somebody's got a cool outfit on, you be like, that's that drip. This term came from a Cardi B song. If you don't know who Cardi B is, look her up. I enjoy the check. I enjoy the check. I enjoy the check. <laughs> she's a rapper and she's got a song. Can't do dripping, drip, drip. 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 The first time that I heard this word, one of my kids was like upset because I was about to be absent on Friday. And he's like, Miss Brunat, you're not going to be here on Friday. So you're going to miss that drip set. And I was like, excuse me? And he's like, that drip set. I must have asked him like five times. And he was like, I'm going to have a cool outfit on on Friday. <laughs> what I am noticing this school year is that a lot of my kids are wearing Crocs to school. I wouldn't consider Crocs as drip, but I think my kids do because of the amount of them that wear them on a daily basis. Down here in South Florida, Croc culture is real. So coming to you live on the scene is one of my pop culture consultants, the captain of my step team. These, yeah, what are those? We just <laughs> talked about this. They are called gibbets. gibbets. They're gibbets. <laughs> Basically, you put them on your Crocs, you know, style them up because. Do you Crocs really think this is style? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. The foot amazing. modeling is yes. incredible. Yes. Is croc shiner. That's ridiculous. It's amazingness because as you can see, uh -huh. there's dullness at the end of my croc. Dullness. <laughs> right? mm -hmm. So what you do is you get your little sponge here and then you start <laughs> shining them. Like this is, you know, businessmen shine their shoes because they're like going important places. Yeah, so and my crocs are very important. Oh to me. My <laughs> If you want me to think school is important, I'm wearing my business Crocs. These are your business Crocs. <laughs> Get out. I'm gonna go ahead and call that segment what the kids be wearing. Get it? Because the show is called what the kids be saying. And ladies and gentlemen, Crocs are in. You can adorn them with gibbets, giblets. Not really sure what the word is there. You can even get them fur lined to stay warm in the winter. Crocs are so serious that somebody sent me a DM that one of their students got in trouble and their dad took away their Crocs. <laughs> Creative parenting for the win. Don't forget, if your Crocs get a little dull, you can even shine them right up. Lastly is the new Fortnite release. We all know that Fortnite took over our lives when it first came out. If Fortnite season two came out, Recently, there is now like this new feature where when you're going into the game that there's this song playing in the background and the song is called Ruckus by Kanata Small. And the only reason I'm telling you about the Fortnite release right now is because I know Kanata Small. So we're just gonna, I know somebody famous. <laughs> That does it for this week's episode of What the Kids Be Saying. As always, stay drip, my friends. Get it? Because I usually say stay hip. Since we talked about drip, I said stay drip. It doesn't make sense, but it's